In addition to the hectographic paper, I found that vis-a-vis -vis markers transfer the image really well. Now I've usually done it on paper, but this time I'm going to do it on a transparency. So I haven't done this before, I just want to give it a try and see how it works. But pretty much I've used vis-a-vis -vis markers on paper and then transferred right to the gel. This time I'm doing it on a transparency. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start. And basically, you just trace the image with your vis-a-vis -vis markers. And these are the markers that are made for overhead projectors in schools and businesses that still use overhead projectors. They clean up with water, so they transfer really nicely to the gel. And I'll go ahead and fill in the rest. Well, I'm still working on the colors, but that's one of the nice things about this process. With hectographic printing, you can print all colors at the same time. So I'm just adding some finishing touches here, and I'll finish that up. Okay, I've never done this part before because it's on a transparency. But normally you just place your image face down onto the gel. And you have to be careful that it does not move around. And that there's no bubbles. I'm slipping this under the corner so I can grab it a little easier. Alright. There's no bubbles under the image. It's making good contact. Now, I just need to let it soak in. Okay, it's been about three or four minutes. The color looks saturated, so I'm thinking that it's soaked in and done a good enough job. So I'm going to go ahead and carefully remove the master. And what a beautiful job. It transferred almost every bit of ink from the transparency onto the gel. So now it's ready to make copies. I thought I'd give a little bit better close-up of the image in the gel. It really looks like it turned out well. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on um, watercolor paper right now. And I made sure that the surface wasn't wet. It has been just dampened a bit. And now to place it down right about there. Now all the colors will transfer out of the gel into the paper and we'll have our first print. It's been about two minutes so I'm going to now carefully remove the mat, the print from the gel. Again I want to do this very carefully so that the gelatin surface is unmarred. And so long as the surface stays clear, I can keep making prints and they'll keep transferring to the paper. 
and there's my first print and I've got good color transfer and I can keep going and make a few more prints. The Visa V markers um, I've done sets of 15 uh, but depending on the color you're using the image gets lighter and lighter with each print but you can add more time for the ink to transfer so I've gotten about 15 copies for each image transfer. Um, I did my Christmas cards this way. Uh, so it's um, you can also touch up the image on the gel if you're careful with the Visa V markers and basically just paint right on the um, image to refresh the colors. And uh, it's actually a neat effect because then you can get some uh, bold colors and some light colors in the same um, print. So, okay, this is the second print, and I left it on for about five minutes. I wanted to see how rich the image quality could be, and we'll go ahead and carefully lift it up. And each print, if you're doing it for like art, should be signed in pencil and numbered in pencil as to what number print it was. And so there's my second image and it turned out really nicely. And here's the third print. And so you can do full color printing. So I hope you enjoyed hectography.